I say, what a feast! Oh, I don't know where to look. Every dish looks absolutely delicious. Though my Nana might not have agreed, there is more to life than food, you know, you two. Just look at the corn here. The golden citron over there is magnificent, isn't it? Mm, just smell it. Catriel, are you even listening to me? Oh, here we go. I think it's going to another side of the party. Ladies and gentlemen, my esteemed guest. You know, he always have one of those bubble hats, because he's... Whenever he talks, he, he's, goes, uh, he shakes a bit. May I thank you personally for joining me on the maiden voyage on this magnificent ship, the Thane Tannic. As you know, she's the first of a new line of affordable but luxury cruise ships to be manufactured by Bountiful Holdings. So please, drink, feast, live for this evening like kings and queens. Later, have some entertainment for your enjoyment. Again! Where we shall see all to on whom the goddess of fortune is smiling tonight. Let the party begin. Pess, what do you want to try first? Let me show you my love for you for getting you for you for getting a plate. Oh Benji, you're the sweetest, but I don't know where to start. Oh dear me, what a party. Wait till I tell Ma than any about this. It certainly is an impressive party. I'm sure we all, all the well-to-do Londoners here will feel very at home. Well, it's not the kind of bash I'm normally invited to, but I couldn't get, but I could get used to this. In fact, I might even surprise the bet I have with, with it one time. What's the matter with you, Catriel? Why have you gone quiet all of a sudden? Hmm? Oh, no, no reason. I mean, I don't mind if everyone wants to chat instead of going to get some of the scrumptious, scrumptious also, it me now just food. Hm. Typical. Alora, let's go and have a look around, shall we? Yes, yes, let's go and look at the dishes, and the platters, and the salvers, and... And perhaps just glance at something other than the food as well, maybe? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, one here... Uh, this one is a bit more difficult to find the hint coin... Oh, wait. Yeah, this one's gonna be more difficult to find the hint coins because there's a lot here for me to go and to go and find. I saw something here. There. Uh, yeah, no, this one here is just you know they talk about food. Oh, it really is the most spiffy spread, isn't it? I've never seen some of these dishes before. I'm going to tackle this tired tower of dishes from the bottom up. We have to be methodical, I think. Should it be the other way around? Oh. Oh yes, I agree with Such a marvel spread makes you want to sample a little of everything, doesn't it? This round ball at the top is some exotic cuisine as well, don't you think? Do you think? Oh! That could be a clue. No, I think it's just decoration, isn't it? Oh, really, what a shame. I was looking forward to finding out what it would taste like. You'll be wa you'll be waiting to eat the kid... Well, sorry. You'll be waiting to eat the china next. Yeah. I think there's even a special dish laid out for you, sure. You have my, you have my attention. Madame Dubé thinks of everything, doesn't she? It's funny she doesn't strike you as someone likely to notice the smaller details. She'll strike you for making a comment like that. Oh, just notice the jelly besides my name's star, star over there. There is always a lot of distraction, isn't there? It's impossible to know where to start. Yep, that was one of the items I need to check. And the pretty souls I got, what the hell? Is it just because I'm so small that everything looks so huge? No, it's enormous. I wonder how many meters tall it is. Clearly, it's model of a mythical goddess. Clearly. Except not really. I think it's more modeled after an angel than a goddess. Mind you, I don't know all the goddesses in the world that ever existed because of mythology and all that. But I'm pretty sure most gods don't have feathery wings. 
most of them you tend to have are normally angels. Mind you, there are exceptions, but it's not exactly commonplace. Clearly. Anyway, it's very ornate. It must have been a real labor of love to produce. I would think so. As a work of art is exquisite, and the fact that it's made of solid gold makes it all more impressive. You mean it's not just guilt? Guilt? When it belongs to one of the seven dragons, Ernest, please. I mean, yeah, sure, the guy is multi uh, millionaire, sure. But uh, even I would admit, making a solid gold is a waste of, a waste of money. I'm sure Mr. Fullhole wouldn't dream of using a gold plated statue as a centerpiece of his of his new ship. Golly, I'm I'm flabbergasted. Such an enormous statue made of solid gold. It's out of this world. Esteemed guests, beautiful ladies and charming gentlemen. As part of our lavish entertainment for you tonight, I had devised a little game for you to play. Oh, this sounds very really exciting, doesn't it, miss? But, a bit, but before explaining the, to you the rules of the game, let me inform you of this sumptuous prize. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is the gold statue of the goddess. The statue? The, the solid gold statue? That is correct, Miss Layton. It is a gold statue of the goddess that I will be giving away to away a biting slip for. A biting slip for. A biting slip? I'm sure no one will want to pass up the opportunity to bid on this magnificent work of art. <laughs> Dear me, auction that unbelievable statue. Mr. Fuho will attack of the town. Yeah, honestly, that thing is so massive I don't even know where to put it, so I'd probably just sell it. Oh, Ben, it doesn't seem exciting. We have to take part. Definitely. I'll do everything I can do to win it. Best to show you how much I love you. Just a second, I need to get some water. My throat is dry as a desert. Uh. And I'm back. Remember, fellas, stay hydrated. Well, everyone certainly seems to be excited by the idea. And you're not, Cat? Aren't you gonna give it a shot? I don't think so. I mean, the problem is just by, uh, biting, uh, just say, biting his lip. It's not the statue itself, is it? You do realize, Catriel, that a statue of that size made of solid gold is practically priceless. If you were to put it to auction, people would be falling over themselves to be, to be invited to bid. In other words, a bidding slip alone is going to be worth a very large sum of money. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, perhaps I could join in. I don't want to be a party pooper. Oh, you are taking part now, are you? I can't keep up. It sounds like fun, whatever the prize might be. I want to pretend I'm not interested, but I would like to know the rules before I'm going to take part. Well, Perfetti, I think you're in love. Looks like our coast is about to fill us in. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to tell you the rules of the game. Concealed in this very ship are four angel statues. These you must find. It is a treasure hunt, you see. Myself and Captain Pullman will lead you to the proximal location of each angel statue in turn. The treasure hunt will take you all around this magnificent new vessel as, a, as you search high and low for the angels. <coughs> so the first two of the endemic locations, the heart of Saint Tanit, the engine room. Ladies and gentlemen, follow me. Hunting for angels in order to win the goddess. Mr. Fullhold has a wonderful sense of style, doesn't he? I say, this promises to be rather fun. A policeman, a private detective, and a criminal and analyst are all, comp all competing against each other. Three professionals in the field of treasure hunting. I think it's safe to say one of the three of you will determine the binding slip. Or bidding slip. I just I keep saying binding, but it's bidding. Also, not treasure hunting, but finding clues, so I suppose close enough. Hmm. Hmm. Gosh, you, you look, you all look rather fierce all of a sudden. <laughs> Stand aside, ladies. Uh, oh, hunting. I thought it was United. Hunting out a few statues will be a walk in the park after a short sort of kids you'll get tangled up on. Just a minute, Inspector. Private attacks like you are forever hunting your treasure. I mean, really. 
If I pump for every part that's walked through my door, I'll find the statues in no time. Kisk. I think I'll find the outstrip both of you when it comes to locating things. A simple analyst of the criminal, in this case, the head of the end of statues, will let me search to the location. Night is in the pack pulling together. This little game certainly seems to have roused some competitive instincts. What do you think of the photo of all this is, Ernest? Haha, <laughs> this is fun. Each of us are just where. Uh, each of us sure we are the best. Yeah, my god, I'm bad. Each of us is sure we are the better treasure hunter. Well, let's find out who's right. Whoever finds the four angel statues is the winner. I think that's the point, Catriel. You're on, Cat. I've got some little gray cells of my own I can call on when I want to. You know. It doesn't have to be a dog eat dog disaster. Wouldn't you be better off working together? Sure. There are only three possible outcomes to this scenario. The first, some other than one of us to remove the prize. The second, one of the other two, in other words, Inspector Hastings or Emiliano wins the prize. The third, I find all four angel statues and walk away with a beating slip for the Golden Goddess. The most likely of us, those three outcomes is the third. Or to put it another way, I'm going to win. Of course, what am I worrying about? It's all go your, it all go your way. Consider she's the main character of the game. There's a very high chance you're right, sure. So the gauntlet has been cast down to the engine room. But before that. Let me find the last thing for you. Mind you, that is assuming there is one here. What do you have to say? So now it's time to give a bye. Yeah, he probably has something else to say, but I didn't know I was supposed to talk, not talk to him for I won't be taking part in the fun and games myself, but let me show to the angel room. Come on, there has to be one more, right? Nah, this is... Yeah, I don't think there is one more. Oh, it's okay, through here. Yeah, makes sense. Let's go. Jesus, we out of all, all force, Jesus Christ. In Portuguese it would be Todo Vapor. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the heart of my latest vessel, the angel room of the Thing Tank. Somewhere within this room, the first of the angel statues is hidden. Which of you can find it? Oh no, there are pipes all over the place. How are you going to find the little angel statue in here? This is the worst. Don't worry, Bess. We work together. There is nothing you can do. Oh, Benji, you're just a bad. Disgraced. Just great. Deary, dearie me. And then you start your hidden here somewhere. Well, I'll do my best. Blimey, there's a lot of machinery down here, eh? Beats me what, if, what any of it does, mind you. Ships are outside my expertise, too. I should have studied more before coming on its on crew. Oh, this all looks very interesting. That is speaking too at the end there. Hey, pause off unless you're told otherwise. Ah, and then there's a switch just above it. I wonder what it does. Hey, it said pause off. Curiosity is something someone with your name shouldn't be messing with. Fair. Ah, that switch is used to operate the crane for loading and loading large cargo. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have touched without permission. No harm done, Miss Layton. No, it looks like Mr. Fullhard is also to start the game. That is like a very interesting clue. If you're ready now, ladies and gentlemen, let the game begin. You're free to explore the engine room to your heart's content. As long as you do not slow, do not slow down, of course. Ah. So I invite you to locate the angel statue. Oh, so this is what I meant by... Yeah, the speaking to. I'm curious, how well do the things even work? Yeah, the... And it's going all out. Ah, I knew! I knew it! 
I saw him there, you know? Was it this? Uh, oh, puzzle. It's very hard hunting on a tiny little statue with a massive machine and pipe in here, isn't it? Depends on how tiny it's supposed to be. But my instincts are telling me that this panel here, with all the switches of its hiding something. Perhaps I'll just try flicking a few of them. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Treasure hunt. Appropriate. Nine treasure chests are hidden in a cave. Three of the nine chests contain a jewel. Select the switches between the chests to switch on the lights and reveal a number that tells you how many jewels are contained on the surrounding chests. Where are the jewels hiding? When you think you can identify a chest that contains a jewel, select the chest to circle it. If you change your mind, just select the chest again to remove the circle. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Two, one, two, one. Wow, that didn't freaking help at all. So this one here is close to two, and this one here is close to one. And this one here is also close to one, and this one here is close to two. Hmm. Yeah. Q. SpongeBob time card now. Much, much, much later. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's here it said three of the nine chests contain a jewel. That's why it was freaking out because that was only one. So here, this one is two, this one is one, this one is two, and this one is one. So it, so it pretty much means that of all the guys that is hitting here, one of these here has a jewel, has a jewel, and of all the ones here, yeah, two, two of them have a jewel. Problem is, it can't be this one, how do I know that? Because this one here is only selling, telling one, and the only two that these here are, are touching is the middle one. The same here, look. Yeah, so it, so it pretty much negates all these and it's only this one. So by that logic, is this one, this one, and this one. You know, the fact that I selected the first chest and the submit button didn't highlight should have been the first clue that I was being a moron. Oh. Well. Mm, this should do it, I think. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. You did it, you found all the jewels, time stuff for the next treasure hunt. Ah, I found something! Oh, it is a little! Ah, it's the angel statue! What a, the angel statue! What a devious head in place! Oh, bravo, Miss Layton! Well, you know, for a detective like me, it's all just a matter of going through the emotions and... You wanna go through them a bit faster, cat? That was a piece of cake, wasn't it? Obviously, also look at the stash. Sisk. Hardly worth it of profile at all, that was. Oh, it seems some of the other guys managed to find a statue as well, miss. Clearly, if everyone managed to find it, the honey place was too easy. Good, I see that you have all managed to look at the first of the angel statues. But don't let, no, but don't let complacency take hold of you. That was. A gentle introduction, shall we say. I mean, makes sense. You don't want to put a guy in, the, in a game and put the final boss in the first freaking stage. Now, as you're all here today, Jerome, perhaps you will do this and allow Captain Pullman to tell you a little bit about this magnificent new vessel. Oh, my aces are telling me that this is going to be a long and boring. For once, your gut and mine are singing the same tune. Well, as I'm sure you all agree, the thing Tannic is a fine-looking vessel, but as I'm about to explain, her guts are equally impressive. The engine here has enough force to give a container ship a, a run for his money. For his money. Actually, he's even more powerful than your average cargo carry. She's just sticking along at a comfortable pace, pace at the moment to give you good people a smooth ride, but if you were to open her up, she'd really fly. There is not another ship in the themes that can match your capabilities. Do you think it's nearly done? 
my eyelids, my eyelids, my eyelids, Jesus, are starting to drop. Well, this is rather spiffing shit, miss. I'm not surprised he wants to sing his praise. Thank you for the explanation, Venus. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all that always give you a taste of the superiority of this vessel. We're now a new age of shipping now. These modern vessels are a world apart from their age of ancestors. Makes sense, progress and all that. The same thing it crawls a new dawn. She's only the first of many new passengers craft upon the commission. But forgive me. You're all eager to continue the games, I think. Please, let us return to the Grand Lounge. But first... Oh! Nice! What do you have to say? No good asking me where the angel statue is hidden. I haven't got the foggiest. Okay. 